Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. It's a cold winter evening here in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's time to get in some beers. So what I have for you today on this beer adventure is... Hell or High Water, I'm sorry, I'm screwing it up already. It's Hell or High Pomegranate. Beer brewed with pomegranate and natural flavors from 21st Amendment Brewery. Now, I almost said Hell or High Watermelon because that's a beer I've seen for years out of from, from 21st Amendment. And that's what I think of every time I see this beer. I've had a few 21st Amendment beers, but I haven't seen them around in a while. So it's nice to see them back in uh, the rotation around this area. And maybe it's just I haven't noticed them. But it was nice seeing something new for them. Like I said, this is Hell or High Pomegranate. It's a seasonal release. Uh, there's nothing really to read off on the can. It is a cool can. However, there's one thing interesting. It says that this is uh, brewed at 21st Amendment in San Leonardo, California. And when I looked up 21st Amendment, it says they're out of San Francisco. So I assume this must be a suburb or something close to San Francisco. I've been to San Francisco a lot of times, and a lot of what people say is true about it, but it's still a fun city. Been to a few breweries there, but this is not one of them I've been to. Now, this, this uh, brewery was founded in 2000, so it's 24 years old almost now. It's crazy. Before the craft beer boom. And one thing that's really cool about this is 21st Amendment is a reference to the 21st Amendment in the United States. Now, for those of you who don't know, back in 1920, the Fun Police uh, passed the 18th Amendment, which was prohibition. It prohibited alcohol sales, manufacture, everything about alcohol in the United States. Because you know all those old fogies, the blue hairs, the people in charge of the government don't like people having fun, don't like people having freedom, don't like people being independent. And they couldn't stand people drinking. I'm sure there was a lot of uh, racial things and other aspects of it that we won't get into. But in any case, it was the fun police. Because they've, they've always screwed up America. They've screwed up the country. They've screwed up a lot of places around the world. They just can't stand people having fun. But anyways, that lasted for about 13 years. And in 1933, they finally passed the 21st Amendment, which repealed the 18th Amendment. So Prohibition was gone. They eradicated it. Wish they would do that for a lot of other things. And slowly, maybe one day they will. So anyways, that's what they get their name from. The 21st Amendment is the amendment that, that repealed prohibition. And on the bottom of this can here is one cool thing. Because you see on this picture of the can, Lady Liberty. Bottom of the can says, Lady Liberty. I don't know if you can see that very well. But I'll make sure to throw a picture of, there, of, of both Lady Liberty and Bottom of the Can up there and the, somewhere up here, one of these sides. Enough about that. So this is supposed to be a pomegranate beer. For our port, I wonder what color it's going to be. I think it's going to be a reddish hint, reddish hue. Let's see if I'm correct. When untapped, it gets a 3.44 with 5.6 thousand check-ins. On Beer Advocate, it gets an 83 good with 26 check-ins. And I am, I don't know if I want to say hard pouring it or knob head pouring it. Either way, that's a lot of head. Hopefully I don't overfill it. And once again, I'm going to use Friar Joseph's scorecard here. So appearance. It's a massive head. But that head, I mean, it's white, but it's got a pink tinge to it. It does have like this pinkish reddish tinge to it. That's a big frothy head. I mean, it's one of my giant bear paw hands full of head. And that is pretty clear. Got some nice bubbles going on. But it does have like a pinkish hue to it. I mean, I'd refer... I, I don't know if I can... Put an SRM on it. I mean, it, it's... I guess it's kind of like a... 
maybe a maybe a twelve, but it's got some 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 pink notes to it, which is pretty cool. I mean, I thought I thought it was gonna be a darker reddish to that, and this head just turned into like pillowy, not going away, lots of lacing around the glass, nonsense. So I guess appearance, I have to give it a three. Why not? As far as aroma, I could smell it as soon as I opened the can. It had some nice fruitiness to it. Some nice sweet fruitiness. A little bit of pomegranate smell. And this is 4.9% alcohol, 17 IBUs. I don't smell any uh, hops. It's just kind of a, a fruity beer. And this, this head is turning into marshmallow fluff. I mean, I, I don't know if I can tilt it enough so you can see that, but that's just a crazy, looks like clouds when you're flying over the, when, when you're flying. So I'm going to try to chew through this head and see what the flavor is. Cheers, everybody. Huh. Flavors are very light. I mean, it's I, there's not a lot there. It's not uh, a bad thing, but it's very light, delicate flavors. You do get some some pomegranate kind of sweetness, and pomegranates are kind of close to cherries. As far as flavor profile goes, you get you get some of that pomegranate, but it's it's not overpowering. It's very light and very subtle. Uh, I did forget to to score the aroma. I'd probably give the aroma a five. As far as flavor, again, I'm kind of disappointed. I would have expected uh, a bigger pomegranate bite than it has. I'm gonna give the flavor. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll give it a 10 on this. I just thought there'd be more of a pomegranate flavor than what it is. It's not bad. It's not awful. It's not off-putting. It's just not what I expected out of out of this beer. As far as mouthfeel, it's very watery. Very watery mouthfeel. Give it a 2. You know, overall... Kind of disappointed in this beer. I really expected it to be more of a, a pomegranate. Really love pomegranates. I really thought it would be more of a pomegranate flavor. So according to uh, Friar Joseph's scorebook here, I'm going to give it a 5. Let's do some quick maths here. 10, 20, 23, 25. Score that at 25. According to his book, it's a good. I'll give it that. I mean, it's average beer. It's all right. Sitting the horns up. This isn't a skip. This is just a let it play. I I bought this as part of a uh, mixed six mixed six pack for twelve bucks. So two dollars this beer. Yeah, it's probably worth two dollars. If you just want some average drinking beer, I'd go for it. I mean, if you want something kind of a little different, a little light flavor, it's all right. It's nothing special. I mean. Yeah, it's just kind of there. Really disappointed that it's not more of a pomegranate flavor. Excuse me. With that being said, I hope you aren't disappointed in my video. And if you like it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And as always, embrace the adventure.